Venezuela is under a humanitarian crisis. Basic things like food, medicine, power, water, transportation, and security are not provided to the people, creating one of the worst immigration crises in history. My name is Vanessa, and I am from Venezuela. I moved to this side of the continent almost seven years ago to look for better opportunities and something that people often take for granted. Freedom of being, freedom of doing, freedom of eating, freedom of loving, and one of my favorites, freedom of speech. What is ISIS? That's why I love this country. You can do and say almost anything as long as you get organized. This freedom to organize is the reason why supporters of Nicolas Maduro are able to gather in the streets of LA to show their support for what most of the world considers a dictatorship. I first read about this march on Facebook, a protest against a U.S. intervention in Venezuela, but there was absolutely no mention about the current humanitarian crisis. Bullshit. Common crisis denial amongst Maduro supporters. Anyway, I wanted to find out what this group of protesters were saying about my country, but I didn't know if I would be welcome to this march, so I dressed for the part. Meet the character, an independent socialist and millennial revolutionist. But I think I went a little bit overboard. My questions were simple. What are their thoughts on the current crisis in Venezuela? Have they been to Venezuela before? Why are they so quick to blame anybody else but the Venezuelan government? I'm about to find out. But wait, let me give you more context about what's happening in Venezuela. Venezuela is going through a political, social, and economical crisis that is only worsening by today. Esto, yo como venezolano, es el sueldo de un mes. I don't only read about this, I know about this because my family tells me everything. Aquí estamos, mi picho, viviendo la dictadura en plenitud. Nunca imaginé esta vaina. Who is managing the country? For the past 20 years, the country has been managed by the United Socialist Party. That started with this guy and continued with this guy. They both contributed to Venezuela's collapse by keeping the economy completely dependent on oil revenue. They overspent all that money on social programs for the public support and imported most of the country's food and necessities instead of investing in the local production. All of this while nationalizing private companies and making it increasingly difficult to invest in Venezuela. So when the oil prices went down, so did Venezuela's economy. But all blame went to Maduro's political opponents and of course the United States. Se ha hecho contra Venezuela un ataque cibernético. In 2015, tired of mismanagement, Venezuelans voted for a new parliament, making clear their one for change. But that didn't last, as Nicolas Maduro, ignoring what the vast majority of Venezuelans voted for, created his own parliament, formed by 500 45 members who support him and have the power to rewrite the Venezuelan constitution. Venezuelans took to the streets in protest, and many countries consider these elections to be illegitimate. Y lo que tenemos en Venezuela es una dictadura. But despite all of this, Maduro created his own parliament, an illegitimate entity that calls for early presidential elections in which Maduro's opponents are either in jail, exiled, or banned from participating, making Venezuelans and the international community denounce the elections as a sham. That was not a free and fair election. But Maduro claims another victory, becoming Venezuela's president for six more years. But since both of these elections were considered illegitimate, Venezuela stayed with no legal president, making Juan Guaidó, the president of the democratically elected parliament, become the temporary president of the country while Venezuelans get new and fair elections. But for some people, the understanding of the situation is a little bit different. Hola, ¿eres venezolana? Are you Venezuela? Salvadoreña. ¿Por qué está marchando el día de hoy? Bueno, en apoyo a Venezuela. Estamos reconociendo todo el tiempo a Maduro, que es el presidente único electo bajo la constitución de los venezolanos. Y estamos suponiéndonos a la marioneta que ha puesto Estados Unidos, que no la queremos ahí. ¿Cuál es el nombre de esa marioneta? Um, ahorita se me ha olvidado. Okay. Sí. Excuse me, sir, can I ask you why are you marching here today? I am from Venezuela. What, for what organization? No organization. What media are you for? What part of the media? Third world. It's for YouTube. Uh, no, he doesn't want to tell me why he's marching. I thought we were friends. Can I ask you why are you marching today? You know, I can actually see if one of the uh, coordinators uh, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. People don't want to tell me why they're marching here today for, which is weird. I know that we're both marching for the freedom of the Venezuelan people. I am from Venezuela. So when people march there against the government, usually they get tear gas. So I wonder if today we're gonna get tear gas. I have no idea. You have, oh, there's a possibility? No. 
Okay. And just when I was about to continue with my questions, someone from security approached me. I was just wondering if you have a press credential or a press. Oh, no, it's just for YouTube. Oh, okay, okay. Do I... What's your What's your name? My name is Vanessa. Oh, what's your I am what's from your Venezuela. YouTube page? Third world. Third world. Yeah. Great. Okay, uh, yeah, I just wanted to check in, try to see who's on the periphery. Oh, okay. Somebody from security approached me and asked me if I have like a press kit, or what I was doing on front, and what I'm asking to people. I just told him I want to report to the Venezuelan people what the foreigners think about the current situation in my country. We stand for the people of Venezuela. Does Trump care about the poor? No. Does Trump care about the hungry? No. Then why would he care about the hungry in Venezuela? If we can't take care of the people here in Los Angeles, the people in Watts, the people in Compton, the people in Washington, D.C., how can he possibly take care of people in Venezuela? What is the message that you will send to the Venezuelan people? Is it a news? It's for a YouTube channel. I am from Venezuela. My message is, uh, even if not everybody is informed correctly on this topic, a lot of people, you know, hear the lies. They hear yeah. the media. They hear the news. They hear yeah. their schools even tell them the lies. We are worried about creating democracy here, not yeah. about going to other countries yeah. and doing it. So know that there's people here fighting for you. No, there's people here uh, who also go to Venezuela and investigate and have like... Have you been to Venezuela? No, I haven't. I've been to Cuba, but not Venezuela. Okay. Uh, I didn't go as far south as I could have. And here's the security person back again asking me for the name of my channel because she couldn't find it. Están diciendo que en vez de intervencionar allá, supuestamente ayudar a gente que supuestamente se está muriendo, a lo mejor hay que concentrar en los problemas que tenemos aquí, porque esos problemas no, no, no son de nosotros y no tienen problemas. Ellos tienen acceso a, a comida, a, a hospitales, a la gente de aquí que es que no crea esas mentiras que se miran en las noticias. Estamos en contra de cualquier intervención de, de Trump. No quiere ayuda humanitaria para ellos, no es una gran mentira. Lo que quiere es el, el oil, no es justo, ¿verdad? ¿De dónde es? De Los Ángeles, salvadoreña. I was really surprised so during this march is that nobody speak about the Venezuelan crisis. Everybody just speak about the government. Every day in Venezuela you're faced with politics and here is another issue again. Con el presidente Nicolás Maduro, las grandezas que le ha dado al pueblo venezolano. Dos millones y medio de casas, no podemos mentir, que se las han regalado, no, pero son precios, como se a decir, cómodos. Pero y ahora por lo menos la gente que dice que no hay comida, que no hay medicina. Bueno, lo que dicen de la medicina puede ser real, pero ¿por qué no hay medicina? Esa es una pregunta muy buena, porque los medios mentirosos no hay medicina, pero no dicen el por qué. ¿Cuál piensa usted que es por qué? Estados Unidos le bloquea, le dicen a un país o a otro, si le vendes, ah, se van a ver con nosotros, al gobierno, ah, de Donald Trump, el infierno te espera. In solidarity with the Venezuelan people. You know, it's time that you know we're fed so many lies. There was a speaker out there who really made a great message about like uh, Univision, Telemundo. They, they sound like Fox News, but borderline. They had a little special on one of the shows in Telemundo. One of the women who Donald Trump called out or whatever. I'm translating what this conversation was, and she said, "Oh, I'd give Donald Trump a kiss if he overthrows Maduro." Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, that's right. And it's mostly rich. White Venezuelans you see on television. Yeah. You never see the people of color. You never see the Afro Venezuelans. And uh, and yeah. So I did it, guys. I came to this march. I walked with these people. I asked them questions. And overall, none of them spoke about the Venezuelan crisis. I was a little bit surprised that the protesters speak a lot about the people, but only seem to defend a government. Venezuelan people love when foreigners speak about what's going on in the country. But we do not appreciate when people lie about the humanitarian crisis that Venezuelans are going through. I've been outside my country for the past seven years. And even though I read and hear about the daily crisis, I still sometimes feel that my opinion is not as valid as the people living there. But that doesn't seem to be the case for the people that we just interviewed. I was hoping to find organizations that are actually sending help and relief to Venezuela. But none of this was discussed in the march. All that I heard was U.S. hands off, Chavez vive, la lucha sigue. Chavez is dead. And I don't know what the lucha they're talking about. When I didn't see any type of initiative to help the Venezuelan people.